So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be working on the fourth part for the scrolling platformer. And once again, uh, we have gone through this tutorial on Griff Patch's uh, series to learn how to do it. So a lot of this code comes from the project Griff Patch made. So please check out his platformer game series as well. Our channel focus is to learn the code ourselves, share knowledge, and resources to other kids who are interested to also learn. I am sure you guys have heard this phrase once, see one, do one, teach one. So in order to fully understand everything, we will, we will have to do this. Don't be afraid to reteach something you have already learned. Other people, you might, you, other people might want to learn and you can teach them. That's how we all learn. And finally, we'll give a shout out to Carrot Cake 99 he told us to maybe make different skins for like different characters with different stats. Like number one is neutral, number two is a bad runner but a good jumper, and number three is a bad jumper but a good runner. We might add that in our future videos, but for now, let's get on to the project. And also please check out his channel if you want to watch some funny animations. Okay, so let's go here. So I'm just going to scroll around for a little, just to show what we've done from last time. So this is just like the X and Y code, the setup code, position just to position the sprites, and finally the tick, custom block, and then let's go to the platforms. So we have all of this, scroll down, okay, and also one more thing, we only have one level, that's why it only has one script right here, so when we make more levels, we will add more to this script right here, so now, let's go to the player, so let's start off with this script, the define change player y by the speed y. So we have all of this, but we're gonna add an if then statement in here. So this is, so the player won't teleport through the top. So from the last video I mentioned that when you jump, the player can teleport through the bottom of the platform and you can go through platforms and you can like teleport to the top of a platform. So to fix that, we need to get a greater than symbol. So if the speed y is greater than zero, then we can change the y by negative one. Actually, you have to get an if else, sorry. If else statement. If the sy is greater than zero, change the y by negative one. So this is, um, this is so it will go back down. So if it's in the air, then it'll go back down. Else, it will push it back up one pixel, so it will not glitch through the platform. And we want to set the in-air back to zero because it's not inside the air anymore. Just take this one. Because when it touches the ground, we, we have to set the in-air back to zero. Then we put the position right here. Oops, under right here. So yeah, add this to your change player Y by speed Y script. Next, we're going to be working on the speed X code. So we don't have much code. So we're going to add some more to this. So we want to change the in-air by one. So what this script is for, um, this whole script in air. So get an if then statement. If touching platforms, platforms, then this is just to reposition the sprite as it moves along the platforms. So if it's touching the platforms, then repeat 12 times. Uh, change the Y by one. Change Y by one. Position, reposition it. So our position block right here, I'll just position it to that scroll X and scroll Y of the platforms. So this is for the player, reposition it. If it's not touching the platform, so if it's like in the air, 
and we can stop the script. Stop the script. We don't want to stop all because it stops the whole program. Stop the script. If you have any confusion on this code, then you uh, should watch Griff Patch's tutorials because he's way better at explaining code than I am. So if you have any confusion on this code, please check out his videos on his YouTube channel. So next, we want to change the Y position by negative 12. Change Y position by negative 12. Repeat until. Um, oops, I forgot to put this inside. So drag the if then statement into the repeat. I accidentally put it in the wrong one. And then you drag this under right here. So now you want to get a repeat until. Repeat until not touching the platforms. Not touching platforms. Touching the platforms. So get an if else statement. So this is uh, to prevent it from going into a wall. So if it touches a wall, this will make it go back so it will not go through the wall. So before when we worked on this Y, this was to prevent it from jumping, um, glitching through a uh, ceiling. This is for the walls. So if the SX, the speed X, is greater than zero, then we want to change the X Change the X by negative one. Else we want to change it by positive one. So if it's touching, if it's bumped into a wall on the right side, it'll change it by negative one. Else it'll change it by positive one. And you want to reposition it always. So it'll be same position. This will result in the player not moving through a wall. And now let's go to the tick script right here. So we're going to get add an if then statement. If the speed y, if the variable speed y is greater than negative 20, then we want to change the sy by negative 2. So this is um, in the beginning, when the player starts, it will drop from the middle to down to the platform. So this is what the script is for. So adding this script will make it drop onto the platform. Next, you'll want to get uh, change player Y by, and change the player Y by the speed Y. So set this custom block to the speed Y. It'll call the custom block. And you want to set the scroll X to X. So this is the X scrolling. X and if okay so this is to prevent the scrolling to go too far so when the player gets past the zero then it'll stop scrolling we can simply do this by adding an if then statement if the scroll x is less than zero so it's like neg in the negative numbers so if the scroll x is less than negative zero at less than zero so we want to set the scroll X set the scroll X to zero set the scroll X back to zero and reposition it if okay so this is for the depth so if the Y position is less than the negative 180 so if it falls like somewhere down here if the Y position, then we can set the exit to dead to tell that the player is dead. So obviously this variable won't uh, exit won't do anything because we have not scripted that part yet. So we will get onto that now. Let's make a new custom block. We should call it player die. Player die. Click OK. So we're gonna define the player die real quick. So this is just just like um, blink, make it blink when it dies. So you want in the beginning, you want to set the exit to blink. 
repeat five times. This is just to make it blink and show again. Repeat five times. Hide. Wait 0 0.1 seconds. And then we want to show again. And then wait another 0 0.1 seconds. Add that right under here. And then we want to hide again. Wait 0 0.5 seconds and then it will respawn again. Like that. And then now you want to call this. So in the play game script right here, we want to add an if then statement. So once we get the like the portal, we'll need to change this to an if else. For now, we can just put an if then statement. If exit is equal to die, is if it's equal to dead, if the exit is equal to dead. Then we can call the player die, just to make it blink. All right. So now I'll save our project, make it bigger. So, and remember, um, I messed up because of this. I forgot to take out this. Take this out and throw it in the trash. Put this back in. So now it works. And I also um, added some extra code right here. So your code might be different from mine. So if you have not, uh, if this is not the same, then you should copy all this down. And now I will like scroll through to show you guys the whole tick script because I uh, missed something right here. Okay, so now let's run it. I'll make it big. So now, earlier um, it was glitching through the top. It's because of that extra script there. And now there's scrolling and you'll die if you fall into the bottom and it will stop scrolling after you pass uh, uh, zero, like the negative numbers. So, we can add one more platform as well. Let's go to the platform scripts. So, we can just create another clone at 360.0. So, now let's run it. There you go. Now you have three of them. Um, so, now go to the costumes. So, I just have these three. And of course, this game is not possible yet because I have not added wall jumping. We might get onto wall jumping in the next video. So you want to space them 360 apart and this Y position will be the same. So yeah, that concludes our fourth part for the scrolling platformer. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in part five of the scrolling platformer. Thank you.